A young man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. What caused this terrible infection? Would you believe leftover chicken lo mein? It happened when a 19-year-old student was visiting a friend at his dorm room in Boston. He went to the refrigerator and helped himself to some leftover Chinese food from the night before. Within minutes, he became seriously ill. A reenactment of the shocking case has gone viral on YouTube. Immediately after eating the meal of leftover chicken and noodles, JC didn't feel well. He could feel his stomach shake and convulse. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. People don't realize sometimes how dangerous food can be. Peter DeLucia, Assistant Commissioner of Health in Westchester County, New York, says leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. Two hours is what we always talk about, the two hour rule. You don't want to leave food out at room temperature for more than two hours with either disposing it, reheating it, or putting it into the refrigerator. How long are leftovers safe in the fridge? Usually two to four days is, is kind of the rule of thumb. In a recent test, we found that by day three, the bacteria in egg salad had increased by 4,000%. Use your senses too. When you take that leftover out to eat it, if it's something that you don't have to reheat, smell it, look at it. If it smells a little funky, if it doesn't look right, when in doubt, throw it out. Our expert says when recooking leftovers, make sure they are heated to at least 165 degrees to kill any dangerous bacteria. As for what happened in Boston, doctors say it was made worse because a student wasn't fully vaccinated against meningitis as a child.